guys what is up here guys video game jam poop here with a brand new lp or playthrough this time another metroid game this time metroid fusion for the game boy advance now this one is very different than my usual ones because i've not done a gba game before aside from the Mega Man Zero games on the Legacy Collection, but I mean, overall, I've not done a GBA game that's not Mega Man that, so... Uh, this one's different because I'm playing this on the Nintendo Wii via the Visual Boy Advance emulator, so this is hacked. I have a homebrewed Wii, so... Yeah. And I'm... And I'm also playing the Japanese version as well, so you can see I've got a gallery mode there. And the two stars because we got every picture so uh so we're gonna start the game and uh there's a there's a specific reason why i am playing the japanese version rather than the english version you might be thinking oh yeah because uh japanese is way better sometimes um that is true for this game uh because uh notice it says easy uh at the top there that's because i don't know why this text is all messed up with the patch. I'll put a link in description for the patch. And if you guys know the issue, then you can just let me know. Um, now, this this part of the language, English and Japanese, it's not exactly true. You won't get Japanese text <laughs> at all with the patch. Uh, even though it says Japanese. I think, I, think a, I think a hacker who was trying to do the patch was trying to... Uh, Make it so if you select English, you'll always get English text, and then this Japanese, you'll get Japanese. I don't know if he's trying to do that, but it's one finish, but still. But we'll go with English anyway. But the more interesting thing is the difficulty. You have easy, normal, and unlockable hard. Uh, so, uh, normal mode is basically the same as the English versions. Uh, that's the difficulty in that version. Uh, then easy is the easiest one. So you could play Metro Fusion all you like. The, the way you think it would meant to be played and then hard mode is basically the hardest version of Metro Fusion and because of uh, channel sake and all that we're gonna go with hard mode for this playthrough and yeah this patch is even more English because some texts were not translated because it's brand new such as this uh, so the patch also uh, translates the untranslated text as well so that's a good thing. So let's go. I'd been assigned to watch over Biologic's research team, so I once again find myself on the surface of SR388, home of the Metroids. Yeah, I don't know if the screen is supposed to be slightly smaller. I don't know if it's wide, but uh, whatever. I'll keep it that size. I like it that way. It was there where I was attacked by a life form I had never encountered before. It was only later that I learned that the identity of of my attacker, the parasitic organism as we know as X, unaware of my condition, I was returning to the station when disaster struck. Once the X had invested my central nervous system, I lost consciousness and my ship drifted into an asteroid belt. Oh no, Samus. No. The ship's emergency systems automatically ejected the escape pod before impact bio biological vessels recovered it, transported me to the Galactic Federation HQ. However, during the journey, the X multiplied within me, corrupting large areas of my power suit. It then came to the light that the organic components of my power suit had become so integrated with my system that it could not be removed while I was unconsciousness. Large, part, large, large portions of my suit had been surgically removed, dramatically altering my physical appearance. However, the X in my central nervous were too embedded to be removed safely. I was given a minimal ch chance of survive. Then someone found a cure. They proposed using a Metroid cell to make an anti-X vaccine. Uh, it seems that the Federation had managed to preserve a Metroid 
a cell uh, culture from the last infant Metroid from SR388. The serum was prepared and injected without delay. The X parasites were immediately and completely destroyed. When it looks like they're just shrinking. I don't know if that's how they die. Oh my god, we got a new suit. As for me, one life ended, yet I survived reborn. As something different. The fusion suit. Pondering this fact, I realize I owe the Metroid Hatchling my life twice over. We'll soon be arriving at the BSL research station. I must prepare for docking. The ship's computer has notified me of our approach to the Biological Space Labs, or BSL, the research station. During my surgery, the research team sent the last batch of creature we captured there, as well as the infected pieces of my power suit. After regaining consciousness, I learned that an unexplained explosion rocked the station. For some reason, this awoke the nameless fear in my heart, and now I am being sent there to investigate. My mission on the BSL station will be overseen by my new ship's computer, uh, following the commands of this blunt, computerized co is something I have to bear, as it was a condition of my taking the ship. Uh, for someone who dislikes taking orders, this is the second time I thought I found myself having to do so. It makes me recall my other co. All right, let's go to BSL and SR three eighty eight. Is it both at the same time, or are they combined together? Huh. All right. We're making it on the ship. And there's our map. There's been an explosion in the quarantine bay. The bay currently stores capsule containing recent samples from SR388 as well as part of your suit by the ex-parasites. The cause of the explosion is yet unclear. Investigate the quarantine bay is here. Move quickly and quietly. You are still only able to use most of your latent abilities. Don't forget that, Samus. Stop at the navigation station on the way. Or link from there. Is the objection clear? Yes. Now go on to the quarantine bay. So, here we go, Metroid Fusion. Plays a bit differently, but still. Confirm mission objected? No. Go to the quarantine bay. Yeah, you can save it, your ship still. So yeah, controls... Kind of identical to Super, except you don't have a run button, so it's just normal walk or running. Um... Uh, so, okay, so we're at the main deck, <laughs> I'm gonna go here, the navigation room again, the quarantine bay is ahead, bioscience are confirmed, be careful, okay, alright, I'm gonna go to the quarantine bay then. Does that mean we can get we we be safe from COVID? Nah, just kidding. It's not. It's just right here. And oh, enemy, enemy, kill it. Not that much of a hassle, but still. Like again, we are on hard mode, so when we take damage, we lose more health than usual. Uh, if you're on easy mode, you lose less health than normal. So, all right. All right. Let's go to the navigation room again. This is unfortunate news. The specimens brought back by the field team were infected by X parasites. The X can mimic its prey. Any specimen could have hosted it. Before the explosion, a security sensor scanned one. The, gen the gelatinous X parasites invade and rapidly reproduce, killing the host creature. They also absorb DNA and use it to mimic the host. You were almost killed by an X infection. Only the Metroid vaccine saved your life. It seems Metroids were the main predators of the X. That's why the vaccines, the, the vaccine worked so quickly and so well. But it also has, but it also has changed your cellular makeup. You will never be infected by X again. In fact, you can now absorb any free-floating X parasites uh, without a host of by merely touching them. This will allow you to. Uh, right, we're just gonna. 
because uh, so, there's a lot of text in this game, so uh, they just they just tell they just tell you light like, stories of what things do and just tell you where to go. That's all the navigation rooms do. Uh, sometimes they cannot do that though, and you'll have to try that yourself. But overall, most of the time they'll help. And now, now we got now we get to the main game. We have an enemy there, and we get an X person right there. And there's a save room, and you can save. You just stand on here, and you press save, and then boom, you can save. Now, if you're on hard mode, I recommend saving a lot. If you're not skilled at it. Unless you're skilled at uh, Metroid Fusion so much, then you could try without saving, but still, it, it is such a hassle. I received news from HQ. Uh, okay. Right, head to the data room for the download. The data room is here. Is your objection clear? With missiles, your chance of surviving climbs is of 20%. Oh boy. Alright, we got these enemies here. We go here. Nothing, it's just a dead end. So there's nothing around here. Can't do anything there. But we can go here. We need to go up here. And what do we do up here? That computer reminds me of the Gruff Federation Co. I served under the name Adam Malfovich. He called me Lady on missions. From anyone else, it would have sounded sarcastic, but Adam made it sound dignified. Died. Out of respect, and, and with some irony, I named the computer after him. Okay, that's weird. And we're in the operations deck. So that's the other part of the main deck. Uh, first, we need to go up there, but obviously first we can go here. The recharge room, and then over here, another save room. But we don't need them. The recharge room, it just recharges all remaining things so not just your health but also uh also uh, the amount of missiles or power bombs you have so there are them in the game as well of course they're going to be missiles and there's the data room right here missile data downloaded hold r and press b so yeah it's different with this game instead of pressing like a select button to change between uh missiles and that you just hold it and when you let go you're back to your normal beam mode, so. Alright, so now, we cannot use the elevator to get down at this point. Plus, we cannot get through there anyway, so we need to find another way. And we will, so. Uh, uh, there's nothing up there, there's just a red door there, we might visit that later. You just use a missile right here. And then boom, there's nothing up there either, so I just like to have more pink in the area. But there is something there which requires three missiles to defeat. Uh, and then there's an enemy there. And then we go up here. Uh, so we go down here, and you find our first missile tank. Now on hard mode, if you're playing on if you're playing the game on hard mode, you you only get two missiles from each of these tanks instead of five, like you usually do. So, uh, so we don't have a lot. Uh, I don't think I don't think this applies to um, uh, you know the um. I don't think this applies to, you know, when you first get the missiles. If I don't I think you can I think you still get 10. I think it seems like it. But every tank you only get a certain amount. So, right. Now we have an eyeball here. This is a boss door, so there is a boss fight here. Ugh. Good thing I restored that. Oh god. Yeah, and then the red the red ones can restore everything and even to max as well. So, this is the boss room here. First we go here to find an energy tank. Energy tanks also only give you 50 more health instead of 100, so... So we collect two of these here. That's not an extra red line. Uh, so... So yeah. Uh, we go down here. We have the first boss fight of the game. Arachnus! He's kind of similar to the one in uh, 
in uh, Return of Samus. You know, that one where you get the spring ball from. Right, we got we used all missiles, but we have to keep using this. Uh, you have to keep using your normal beam here, unfortunately. There we go. Uh, if you're on hard mode, anyway. But you can use your missiles again. And you just shoot this. Yeah, that still takes three hits. Yeah, Morph Ball ability recovered. Press down twice to morph. Or to turn to a ball, rather. So yeah, so bosses also have more health as well. Except for that last... F uh, except for their ball form. I think they're the same health, but like, their main form is way more health than that. Uh, so that's another difference between hard mode. It's kind of similar to Zero Mission's hard mode. Since Zero Mission's uh, difficulty is in all versions this time, instead of exclusive to the Japanese version, like Fusion. So if you want hard mode in Fusion, you have to play the Japanese version. But if you want it in English, you could just get the patch. Right, let's recharge. I don't think anything to recharge now. Only up to 14. Right, there's save room. I'm actually going to save again. Now, even though I can use save states, I'm going to try only using them at certain parts. Uh, if I remember to use them anyway. Uh, because I'm on the way. I'm also using a Super Nintendo Classic Controller as well. So, to make this slightly easier. Alright. Alright. That music. Sector 1 SRX. That's another place we need to go next. Yeah, this, that, the, these are basically the locations in Metroid Fusion uh, sectors. So, unlike places, unlike other games where you have like Brinstar and that, you have sectors, it's one through six. So, what's in this door, you may ask? We're in the Sub-Zero Containment, over here. <gasps> it's Ridley! In an ice sculpture. Huh. We'll have to see about that later on. But that's not important. Over here there is a missile tank. Uh, if you morph ball here, don't forget that. So yeah, Let me go down here. And because we're in hard, uh, because we're on a second playthrough as well, because you have to hard mode is only on a subsequent playthrough. Uh, you also have, uh, along with the map, you also have uh, accounters for how many energy tanks, missiles, and power bombs you have out of that many. So. So there's 20 energy tanks, there's 48 missiles, and 32 power bombs. And uh, and each area, there'll also be an icon and a tick as well, so that means you've got them all in that area. So if I had a tick with a missile in the main deck, I've got them all in that area, it means. So that is very useful, because uh, Super Metroid didn't have that. And of course, you still have your stat there. Or you can have sleep mode as well. But why would you want that when you're not on the Game Boy Vance? Beats me. We can go in here. Can't go through there yet, so we have to come back later. Uh, because that way is a secret. Because of this. We meet the SAX. Or Samus X. It's basically the main villain of this game. Kind of. It's basically a doppelganger. To, it's, it's almost like a doppelganger to Samus. Except you can easily tell which Samus is which because the one we're playing as is in the blue suit. That one up there is an orange suit. So we can easily tell. So um, basically the SAX is based on the normal Samus from other games. But the fusion suit is based on this game. Right, Sector 1 SRX. Yeah, the SRX part is basically like the nickname or something like that. Every se every sectors have nicknames or such, so it's not just sector one. All right, main elevator. It's really damaged. All right, All right. Now listen closely. All right, there we go. All right, so here we have a save room. I'm not going to save here. I'll probably there are more save rooms anyway. Uh, I'm going to recharge though, even though I don't really need to, it's just up to 99 energy. Uh, but... 
And there's nothing up there we can do, so... But in here, we have these enemies. And for some reason, I shot the door with a missile when I didn't want to. Uh, and yeah, that's everything in here. In here, this is where the main things of Sector 1 is that you have to do. Uh, go right here. You shoot this thing three times. Yeah. And, and you need four more, so there are five of these, and there are four left, so... That's what, that's what you got to do in Sector 1 for your first mission objective. And then you have these enemies. Down here, you can find another energy tank. And, whoa, what was that emulation glitch there? <laughs> yeah, two missiles to kill these things. Uh, and go up here first. It's important to go through this door first. Because it's where another one of those uh, fan things are. Oh, whatever they were called. That might overheat the room. If you're not careful. Because there's no other doors in here, so... You're best to do this now. Alright, one, two, three, boop, boop. Ugh, there we go. <laughs> That's what damage I'm flashing. That's so funny. Oh my god. That's so funny. Alright. Yeah, there's nothing else we can go beyond that way, so that's everything there. Uh, down here, uh, there is something though. Um, there's a save room here. But not only that, there's this secret as well. That if you keep wall jumping up here, you find a missile tank. Uh, just right up here. You can have another move to do this later on as well, but I just prefer to do that now. So I can have more missiles. And why not? I'll save. Just forgetting that. And then down here, there's that door there, which doesn't lead us anywhere for now, because we're stuck. We may get out of there later on. Uh, then we have to just go this way then. And then we meet these enemies, which take one hit with the missile uh, from their face. If you if you want to attack them from the back, if you want to use normal beams, you have to attack them from the back, unfortunately. So now on hard mode, I don't recommend going this way. Uh, you can for one of the missiles, but there's another one I usually want to get that uh, revolves around the lava and it takes you a lot of damage. And I'm almost dead already, you can tell. But still. Uh, I've saved the game anyway, so... Uh, there's nothing down there. So, you need to go here. Right here. No! Oh my god. Oh, there we go. Alright, there's two more of these left. Alright, I'm just gonna kill these. There we go. So I can refill my energy and missiles. Alright, there's that thing. Yeah, you can tell it didn't attack with the normal beam. You have to attack the backside. And there is something down here as well, but we cannot go from there yet. That is in the future of the game. Uh, we don't go there. We go here first. Hold up to climb on this. One, two, three. There we go. Destroyed that. And then we. And then this door has a secret. Uh, there is another missile tank here. Oh, and it didn't kill the crab. Yeah, I don't know if there's any other secret here at all. I don't think there is, no. And good thing, the circles on the map mean there's an item in there and you haven't got it. And the dot means you got it. So that's another useful thing for fusion. That was not in Super Metroid. Alright, there we go. Kill these space pirate-like things. I think they're space pirates, they look like them. Can I climb up there? Oh, I can! Lovely! Okay, then we can go through here. Shoot that up there. There we go. We can go through here. And progress further on. And then here. Uh, we grab, grab the ledge. And then right here. It's a boss door. And then that way is a save room, but there is a secret here as well, which we cannot do yet, so we'll visit it later. 
Alright, but what we can do is get rid of this boss door. Right here. There we go. And then here, we find a Chozo statue. But shoot this. No, it isn't. It's a boss. And it's just like this thing. You just gotta shoot missiles at it. When the eye opens. Doesn't take a lot of hits. Right, charge beam, ability recovered. Press and hold B button to charge. And it's basically this. And then. Yeah, charge shot. There's another secret here as well, but we also cannot get yet, so... We'll have to revisit it later on. But we can get something here, though. Use the missile here, and then just use the other things to shoot, and then go here. Alright, there we go. Alright, um, and then we find a missile tank here. And then we go here. Ah, got it. Um, and then the last of the uh, thingies, but here's a thing you can do. Take damage here, and then just get it from here. There you go. You don't even have to go through there. Uh, but the old, the other way, the actual way is you go through there with the Morph Ball and then... Then you shoot these things and then you would get it that way. You would get the point. But that's the other way you could do it. If you wish. Uh, I don't need to save here. Uh, and obviously I'm not gonna go in that fire room because... I'm on hard mode. If I was on normal or easy mode, I would definitely do that now. But... Uh, we can damage some enemies without using the missiles. <laughs> uh, so, no more missiles, guys. You could just use uh, the normal beam, the charge shot. So, well, well, not the, the charge beam, not the charge shot. But you get it. And we can't go up there yet still, so... And obviously that way is also from the fire room as well. So we'll revisit that room later on. Uh, like, I know there's a missile I can get now, but I'll wait until later. Right, we'll go to the navigation room. Okay. Right, Sector 2 Tro, or T-R-O, but I like Tro. That's our next area we need to go. Right, here we go. Here we go. Right. As I listened to the briefing, my thoughts turned to Adam. The real Adam understood me well. He would end orders by saying, Any objections, lady? Uh, he knew I wouldn't disagree. Uh, that was just his way of noting our trust. I wonder if I can trust this computer too. Uh, possibly. Now, it's for Sector 2, it's on the other side. So, like, this side is 135. This one is 246. So... And let's go here. And then the other sectors we need uh, to open the other doors with, which we have to use other meanings. So sector 2 Tro. We're in now. Alright, here we go. Navigation room. This map is small, but really it's big. I've learned the identity of a mystery subject. Samus! It's a mimicking... It's a, it's a mimic, it's an ex-mimic in you. I named it the SAX. Oh boy. Yeah, that's, we saw that earlier. So, yeah. So the SAX is basically the main villain of this game. Well, not the main villain, but... But you, you, you get the point. Uh, if it sees Samus, it tries to kill her. <laughs> if, if it sees her. Uh, so you want to try and sneak if you see it. So, and there is a lot. There is a lot in this game that is based on this, where you have to hide. And why not? We'll save. And I thought I save here, so then we're not wasting time in the other rooms. And also, it's quick access to sector two as well in case I do die. Hopefully, I don't. So sector two, uh, you can go through this way, but this way. 
you can't really get anything yet too much. Uh, because you there's a missile there, but you can't get it because you, you can't you don't jump high enough. Uh, so that's unfortunate here. But um, but there is the abil the next boss we're about to fight. Uh, in this sector, uh, has an ability that we do jump higher, so the high jump. So it also gives us the spring ball as well. Or the jump ball, as it's called in this game. Uh, so we can get that uh, before we leave. Uh, so we go up here first. Kill these things. And then we just... Go on this thing, in the security room. Security level 1 unlocked. Blue hatch is now active. So now we can open these blue doors. Or hatches, they call them, but I like doors. And there's also a secret this way, but you cannot access it yet. So, you have to come back for it later. If you want. Like, some of these secrets you don't even have to do to 100% the game. Uh, uh to 100% the game, I mean to finish it. But you do need to do it if you want 100%. Uh, here is a secret room. May not look like a secret, but there is. And I don't know if I can access it, though. Nah, I have to have another ability first. Uh, but there is a secret here, beyond that way, so... And don't die! Alright, that was close. Oh, boy. I want to try and not die here, of course. Because uh, enemies do deal a lot more damage, so you can die quicker. You can even die from easy enemies. So I'm just going to restore a lot of health here. There we go. Oh, we cannot use that yet. We, uh, on the way, we do get bombs. So here... In the data room right here... We install bombs. Bomb data downloaded. Morph into a ball and press B and then... <laughs> Alright. And then here. Recognize the walking sound? It pr it's probably the SAX. We go here. We can bomb this wall here. And then here, we find a missile tank. Oh boy. Oh, <laughs> there's the rest of the door there. Oh no! We're almost dead. We're gonna kill this enemy right here. Alright, we go through here. And then, just gonna keep shooting this these things. There we go. Then I'm gonna quickly go in there because there's a save room here. And I'm nearly low on energy. <laughs> Desperately need to save. In case I die. Like, I get safe states, but still. Okay. Right. There we go. Only reason I didn't save too much in Super Metroid in that, because, uh... Because I use save states and there's rewind features and that, so... So that's, uh, that is why. But in this game, I'll have to save more often. Because how difficult the game is. And that X thing is gone. But we go here to find another missile tank. So then we go here. I'm gonna find this enemy. Right there, there we go. Don't need to go through there. Go up here. And then. And then we have other enemies here. Oh, I took a lot of damage there again. I lost a lot of health, but... Alright. Come on, damage them real quick. There we go. Alright, we'll go down here. That's more safer. Oh, or not. Okay. Alright, and then go through here. There we go. We'll destroy that. And then we have this thing right here to kill again, just so we can get more energy. Like, if there was a recharge room, then I would definitely use it. 
Uh, but there isn't around here. Oh, no. Ugh, I was so close. Oh, Jesus Christ. And then down here, you have to bomb that to get down. Oh, and these things. Uh, if you damage them, spikes come from the side. So you want to be careful with these enemies. That's why for this one, I just recommend going up there. I don't know if there are extra enemies in hard mode in this game as well. I know there is in Zero Mission, but I don't know if there is in this game. So... So we have to take a guess. Oh, and there's a blue one here. And there is a secret here. I'll go down there in a moment. Yeah, we'll just get that. There we go. I think that other one's gone. Uh, we go down here. And then we just got to kill him. There we go. And we get another missile tank. Then you want to go up here. And then just bomb that. And then you can go through this door right here. And then... Right here. And then there's these enemies. I definitely want to be careful here. Because they can move around a lot of times. And then around here there is like a, another one. There we go. There we go. We've got that. And then here. Uh, there is a lot of other things here as well. I don't know if there's like a secret down here. No. Uh, I think we visit these areas later on. But for now, we'll go through here first. Which has a lot of these. And I think... Oh yeah, there's another save room here. And I got maximum energy! Yay! I'm going to save here now. Uh, just like that. And then... I'm just going to kill these again. Because why not? So, you don't really need to go that way. Unless you want to save. But besides that, you don't need to. Uh, this way, I think we'll visit later on. Uh, and there are these two doors here. There's this one. Uh, what's this one? Oh yeah, that's the secret. We cannot use it yet. Uh, the water one we can do, but it's very tricky, but you can do it. Alright, here... ...is this enemy. That's why I recommend using the charge shot a lot, because you can kill them quicker. Just like that, there we go. Alright. Then here, you go... Now, down here, uh, there's nothing useful besides these. Oh, and that. I didn't see that. Oh, there is a secret blue one. Another blue one as well. Oh, no, I died. I died. But we saved at a recent point, luckily. So, that's what the death animation looks like. So, but we, we saved at a recent point anyway, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, that's what dying looks like in Fusion. Uh, Samus is still hot and sexy there. <laughs> um, it's unfortunate that in Zero Mission, they gave her like a different suit. Uh, is it like, is it censorship or something? I don't know. Let's, uh, if it is, then, uh, then damn you, Nintendo. <sighs> Like, all they care about is censorship. They're just back... They're just like the 90s. Uh, but yeah, down here is nothing special. I just want to make more bits of the area. Alright, there we go. It gives us a red one. And then down here, there's a boss door there. So there is a boss here. Uh, nearby. There's nothing else here, so... So, pretty much a pointless room, that is. But So you go up here instead, find a save room. In fact, you know what, I'm going to save here as well. In fact, I should have saved there, to be honest. So I'm not going in through the other rooms. Oh wait, I think there is a... I think there's something here, I don't know. I don't know if there was something here or not. I could be wrong. Now, it might be another room that I'm thinking of that's similar to this. But down here, there is an energy tank here. So we got more energy now. Alright. 
Okay, you have these two things to destroy here. And now, because we've got the charge shot, we can now destroy this eyeball quicker. Except it's refusing to let us attack! There we go. One hit this time. That's why it's best to use the charge shot. Alright. And then we have another thing. This one, I think it's, um... Zobi, I think. A Zobi, I think it is. And you just gotta shoot his eye like that. And then it destroys that right there. Just gotta keep aiming up. Now, the charge shots do more damage. So, it's recommended to use the charge shot a lot. Just like that. Ah. Right. Come on. Just like that. And then just one more hit to go. Well, one more explosion at least. Alright. Oh, god damn it. It's only tricky because it goes down faster. Yeah, we got it. And then we just gotta attack the X Parasite. Whoa! We attacked it that way. And we defeated it. And what do we get here? High jump and jump ball. Abilities recovered. So you jump higher. So you jump higher, right here. So we can make more bits of that area. And you can jump with the ball. So you get both abilities here. There is a secret in this room, but you can't get it yet. So, that's unfortunate. Right, so you go through here. And we save here. Save complete. And there's something else up here, but we can't access it yet. Unfortunately, so... Like, we can bomb this, but... But we can't do anything. We have to use power bombs. Oh, whoa, that was... And the door's destroyed. So we need to go down here. So we have to go down here. And then we meet the SAX. Do not go down here while he's on, while he's here. Just wait for him there. Then he's gone. He's gone. Then you can just leave. And he made these enemies so that you don't have to hurt them anymore. So they're basically in their cocoons. Alright, now we can go up here and get a missile tank here. There we go. And there's another missile tank you can get here. Uh, you have to be careful of these fish, of course. Uh, so first off, there's like a... Yeah, there's this thing here. You go up here. You shoot that door there. And then around here you shoot something else. There you go. Alright. And we're just gonna... It's a good thing you have the jump ball as well. Or the spring ball in uh, in both uh, Metroid 2 and Super Metroid. Uh, to get that missile. Now, of course you are slow in the water for now. Uh, so... So it is sluggish here, but still, it's still good in the water. It's still good to get items early, uh, some items early, so you don't have to get them again, and also so you can have more items. Uh, this way, there's nothing useful here yet. You cannot progress yet, so you have to come back later up here, and up here will be in the future. Uh, again, just like my other Metroid games, uh, the, these will be in other videos. And are you actually supposed to? Oh, you can. Oh. Okay. Alright. We'll just use that, and then... So we don't have to use the bomb to jump now. Uh, so... Of course there's that. I mean, whoa! Okay. Oh, I was trying to duck. But then the game didn't want me to. 
Alright, there's definitely something here. And it's another missile! Yay! And you can get back up by going up here. Just like that. You go down here. There you go. And before we leave, we'll go back to that area that we tried to do. Which is right here. First off. Alright. Uh, then we just go through here. And then bomb that again. And then you find... Uh, a missile tank here. Along with this lonely enemy. And then that's it in that room. I don't think there's anything else there, so... And then... Uh, we, we're gonna go to that other room that we tried to jump over. Because we can find a missile tank here. Like, we saw it before, but we couldn't get it because, uh, this thing, it was too high for us, so now we can jump over. We're still gonna take a bit of damage, but... But at least we can get it easily because we jump higher. But again, we're gonna refill anyways, even after taking damage. So, we're gonna... Go back here. Refill energy. I'm not going to save until the next area. You might think, oh, next is Sector 3, right? Nope. We've got trouble. Uh, SX in Sector 4 this time. Sector 4 Aqua. Or Aqua. Or AQA. Uh, I like calling it Aqua then. Aqua. So, Sector 4 Aqua. And based on the Aqua part, it is a water stage. So, that's where you go next. The SAX, an enemy with my strongest abilities. But does it have a reason? Does it have reason? Probably not. It's just a killing machine. In my current state, I can't face it head on. The SAX is me. Only heartless. It I must stop it before it learns its potential and threatens the universe. Now, as a kid, I used to go to Sector 3 then on, but I don't do that anymore. I would only go to Sector 3 to, like install the map and such because I always think you have to go in sectors in order but nope you don't have to so sector 4 aqua this time it's this way it's the only sector that it goes to the left instead of the right this is definitely big all right yeah this is a war stage uh well war based stage Ceres, we're gonna find. Right. Alright, objection clear. Are oh, you moving? Be careful. Electric. Yeah, there is. There's also electric in the water, so you want to be careful not to touch the water. We're gonna somehow lower the water down. So we're gonna save again here. Then we're gonna go this way. And first off, we're gonna get something else first. We're gonna go down here first. This music's amazing. Oh, wait, we cannot go down. Silly me, we cannot. But this room. Yeah, this room has been altered in the Japanese version. Uh, for some reason. Uh, apparently to fix a bug that was present. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna. Because I don't want to waste time. We're going to restart the save. Because we saved. It's what it's like when you reload a save. So, yeah, like that. <laughs> it's listed as Sect 4. <laughs> Start, yeah. The Metroid icon, by the way, means you finish the game on that file, by the way. Before. Obviously, we're playing the game again. So, it's basically, think of it as New Game Plus. It's basically like that. But silly me, I do not. Go but we will go that way later on. Anyway. Do, 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 do. Kill this crab. And then just go here. Do, 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 do. Oh, 
Oh boy, we go up here. I don't think there's anything useful up here yet. I don't know if there is. Oh yeah, there is. Um, uh, there's another save room there. But also, you can get a missile tank here. Yeah, there's one right there. But I think there's another one. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Alright, we're just going to bomb this. Oh, we need the missile. Let's try that. I bet you need another. Yeah, we do. Oh, yeah, the missile's there. <laughs> Thank God I shot that. Alright. But then there's another missile we need to get. Which is around here. But how do you, how do I get it again? Because I know I know it's there, but but there there's surely there has to be a way of getting it. Unless you go through here. Oh, and then that way. There we go. That's it. So you can get two missile tanks at once. Let's go in the save room. Alright, there we go. Alright, here we go. Alright, here we go. We go up here. And then we kill these crabs again. And for some reason, these waters aren't filtered, so you're fine in these waters. Except, um, in fact, the top one we could progress, but I think the main progression is this way, so. Let me go up here. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Let me go up here. Well, I think so anyway, but first we'll just, uh. Right, there we go. Uh, I don't know if we'll, uh, we'll have to come back later for that way, so I think the main progression is this way first. First off, there's a secret. Yeah, here. You might not notice it, but it is there. Right here, and then there's a missile tank. Right here. And you get out quickly, and boom! You're out! And then right here. Oh, you can't progress. Uh, you do go this way then. <laughs> uh, so it's just for a missile tank. Uh, this way you cannot use yet. You have to get another ability for, uh, for that. <laughs> he just dropped down. Oh, get out of my way! Do, 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 do. Let me just go up here. There's another save room, along with a secret that you have to use. It's a required secret. So you go through there, and that's how you progress. That's how you get to the boss, Ceres. Go here. And then... Oh, he's not there. Then again, you have to have a boss door to get to the boss. So it's not an exception, this. Oh, there's an energy tank there. I could have got that way before, but don't matter. Uh, right. Go here. Right. Alright, here we go. Oh, no! There we go. Yeah, that will refill all of it anyway. Right. We're gonna go in the water right here. There we go. Go up here. And here's Ceres. And then what you want to do is you want to hit his head with the charge shot or the missiles. That's what you do with this fight. <laughs> and you just hit him like that. There you go. He is fast, which begs what? Uh, this gives a hint on what he actually has. Oh, I could have hit him again. Oh, god damn it. 
Oh, there we go. We got him. Oh, God damn it. Alright. There we go. I think I think it's one more hit. I don't know if it is. I'm almost dead. But I saved anyway. Before doing this. And the music's awesome here. Yeah, it's more hits on hard mode. Yeah, I'm almost dead. Oh, I'm dead! <laughs> it's way harder on hard mode, but... Still. Alright. But we know what we're doing anyway. Alright. Alright, I could have safe stated, but... And again, I don't know why I didn't. Alright, go down here. Oh, okay. That was cool. I'm gonna go up here. Alright, I'm gonna go up here first. And I'm gonna hit him from here. And then get down. Oh, too late. Took damage anyway. Then we're gonna hit him next. Right there. Oh, we got him! Lovely. Oh boy. Where's he next? Oh, I missed. Where's he next? Oh, we got him. There we go. Right. We're going to hit him next. Uh. Oh, we got him. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, he's so fast. He's like Sonic. Serious the Hedgehog. Oh boy. There we go, we defeated him. So now we gotta uh, do his X form. Alright, it's a bit difficult to do this in the water. Which is why it's not really recommended, but still. But it's doable. There we go, we got him. Oh boy. It's so hard. What do we get here? Speed booster. Power regain. Run until speed boost begins. So again, just like Super Metroid, you run fast, but this time there's no run button, so it just happens while you run. Like that. Uh, which you'll need to go down here. Oh, that was close. Alright, here we go. We go down here. Right here. And I'm gonna save again. Do 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 let's save. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna go here. And then here. Uh, now, because we've got the speed booster, we can now go to the other area. Uh, you know, that blue door that I mentioned. Uh, uh, first off, I want to get that uh, energy tank. I should have got that before fighting Ceres, to be honest. You go here. And you're in water here. So you have this fish here. But you can kill him easily. And there's another save room here as well. Right there. Alright. And then we go up here. And then right here. Energy tank. There you go. Alright, there we go. Ah, get out of my way! There we go, we go through here. And then, right here, there's another save room. But I'm not, I don't need to save for now. 
Alright, there we go. <laughs> and he transformed when we went in the door. Come on, kill the fish. There we go. Alright. Just bomb from here. There we go. There we go. We can just bomb from here. Oh no! Oh, that was close! Alright. From here, we get speed boost. Then we go here. And you want to do this. You're in the run command, I think it was called. Water level lowered. So now we can lower the water level. Which is it's doing it now. Otherwise, we still take damage in the water. But now we don't. Uh, because it's lowered. So we go here. Right here, there we go. And then BAM! We can get out. But down here, there's a red door, which we cannot open. Alright, we can go down here now, luckily. I think there's a secret here. No, but there is a room similar. But we do run from here. Oh, what?! was a ton of damage I'll meet you guys when I get back okay guys I'm back right we're gonna start here I'm trying not to touch that we get speed boost through here there we go and then through here we can get a missile tank here and then you can still do the shine spark trick just like from uh, Super Metroid uh, it works in fusion as well oh god damn it Alright, so we're going to start again, right here. Right, and then, we can use it to destroy bomb things as well. And down here, there's another... Oh, we have to use power bombs. Okay. But, yeah, there is another weapon there. Uh, now, about that trick we, I was trying to do, but the water was there, so we couldn't. Uh, there's a golden crab we kill there. Don't know why it's there. Uh, it's, it's right here. And no, the trick is not like going through here. Yeah, it's altered in the Japanese version, as you can see here. Which I actually didn't know that. You go through here quickly. If you're quick enough, you can go through here. And then here. Whoa! Are you kidding me? Wow. That was cheap. Okay, guys, I'm back. I don't know why I bomb jumps there, but over here is a missile tank. And then we could go down here as well, but it's not useful. And these ones are strong for the normal missiles, so we cannot use them. Uh, through here, uh, nothing yet. We have to wait until later on. But you can see that there was a data room on the map there. Along with something else. I wonder what that would be. Uh, we'll have to revisit later. I think that the, I think what the I think why they altered this in the Japanese version is that the wall is that there was a glitch where you could go there early, which is not supposed to happen, of course. So they fixed it by just making it different. Anyways, we we just gotta. Came back here. Alright. So now we go to sector 3. Alright. PYR. Alright. So head to sector 3. PYR. So, yeah, there we go. Sector 3 PYR. Or if you would. Or if you would prefer. Pure. <laughs> Something like that, I don't know. Let me guess, more exp Oh, no! No talk from Samus, okay! <laughs> so this time we go this way. Yeah, the elevator's not there for the other thing. So. 
Alright. We go here, Sector 3. We can't go to Sector 5 or 6 yet, still. Wait, still. Do -do 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 -do. But in Sector 3, we will find uh, a security room here, so... Alright, thankfully the exit's not right. Alright. Yeah, level 2 hatches, so... Yeah, and we need to go to a data... The, the data room as well. Alright. Alright. So, mission and objective clear? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, uh, Sector 3 is also like a heat area as well. It's basically mostly fire in that. So, you got to be careful here as well. Some parts are sand, some parts are lava in that, so you got to be careful. And of course, the recharge room, we don't need to go there. So here we go, Sector 3, PYR. Uh, let's go up here first, what's, what's up here? Oh, of course, a lava room. Uh, I don't think it's good to go through here, though, yet. So, it's best to not do this yet. Right, there's a door there, so clearly we need to do a speed boost through here. So we got a speed boost. Right, there we go. Oh, and there's also a speed boost here as well, so you find a missile tank here. You gotta keep that in mind. It's right there. And then there's another speed boost there as well, so you gotta... Oh wait, no, these, these ones are not speed boost, but these ones are. So you go through here to go to the security room without the without permission to open the door. <laughs> security level 2 unlocked. Green hatch is now active. Alright, so now we can go through. And I'm gonna... Whoa! Okay. Alright. Oh, god damn it. I wanted to try and go up. And we can go up here. Alright. We can't destroy that. Or can we? No, we can. Yes, but Sector 3 is mostly fire. So, you want to be careful. And use that to open, which we may need to speed boost here. Through here. There we go. And there's a secret here, I think. Uh, uh, we need power bomb, so not yet. And we're gonna. Whoa! We almost got eaten. Um. Uh, the door that's broken there. All right. There's a missile tank there that you get on the way there. And then over here, you go up here. then we're on the other side of this thing. Destroy this thing. And then. Oh, God damn it! Whoa! Okay, I'm taking a lot of hits here. There is a recharge room around here anyway, so we are pretty much safe, kind of. Here, we're almost at the data room. But then, here we go. Super missile data downloaded. Hold R and press B. So you might think, ah, oh, another data, but nope. Your super missiles are just your normal missiles, just upgraded. So right here, just go this way. And then have an earthquake here. And then we're gonna go down here first. Uh, right here. Uh, in fact, I'm not going to save yet. Because there's a recharge room here. But before that, there's another thing. This. Uh, there is... Uh, so remember these purple things? Well, that's what the super missiles are for. You can destroy these. You can see they're much powerful. 
You can see, they're like, they're like an instant explosion now. But of course we're gonna recharge. There we go. Weapons and energy fully restored, and then I'm gonna save. Because we're about to enter a boss fight here. Alright, here we go. Alright, we're gonna go up here. Open that door. And then, we meet... The BOX security robot, or box security robot, if you would prefer. So how do you beat this thing? You just use uh, super missiles or charge shot right here on him. But I just recommend using missiles on him. Yeah, he's actually easy, and he's defeated. And then... And then just this. And he is still alive. You don't get anything now. You don't get anything here from him for now. And we need something else there. Um, so, what's up here? Uh, it's a missile tank, but we need the speed booster. So how are we going to get that? Uh, through here, I think. Yeah, we need to get something else later on. Uh, to do that. Oh, wait, actually... I think we can actually do we can actually do that now right here uh, to get those missiles um, you would want to shine spark around here um, and then do it here boom you can go up here there you go so you can get them now don't know if it's game breaking but uh, whatever Uh, oh, there's something else here as well, I think. So we need to kill these enemies again. Uh, you know what? Just... Just use missiles to kill them. There we go. Right, we're just gonna run here. When we get to the door, we'll hold down. Right here. I think use the... Yes, you do! And then you go on top of here. You bomb this. Yeah, these require power bombs, so you have to get them later. But you have the the energy tank here. You kill these both enemies here. Uh, what is around here? Yeah, just normal bombs. And then right here. There you go. Very simple. Uh, now let's try and do that, um... That, uh, fire area. But first off, I wanna... First off, I wanna try and do this. Uh, not go in that door. Right, I wanna try this. Oh! Right, that could work, though. So I'm gonna try that again. Alright, we're gonna... Alright, we're just gonna... We're gonna try again. Uh, gotta be quick here. Oh no! <laughs> I missed! Because I want to try and speed boost through there. To do it easily. To do it the easy way. Alright, we're gonna... Alright. Oh, I missed again! It's too hard! I'm trying to... Alright. Alright, here we go. We'll try this. Right, here we go. No! Oh, I missed! Right, we're gonna try again. Alright, we'll start from here this time, so then we speed boost start from here. No! I'm trying to jump! Alright, here we go. Oh, no! Oh, there we go! Yes! 
do this. There we go. And there's a missile here as well. And there is more here as well. You go through here, there's way more than this. Uh, because there's more speed boost stuff to do up there as well. And I think we need the speed booster up here. Yeah, we do. So, what we got to do is... Right here. There's an energy tank here, so... So, how do we get that, you may ask? Well, we go here. Alright. Right, I think we go through here. I'm trying to. Yeah, it's a bit difficult to go through here. Alright. I think one of the ways you would do it is... To use the speed booster up there. Alright, those don't respawn, so I'm going to try this. This is very tricky, by the way. And then, oh, I'm almost, but yeah, you get the point. We're going to try that. Alright, here we go. Right here. Oh, we are so close. But you get the point. We're going to do this. We can get this early. There we go. Lovely. We've got an energy tank early. Then you can just go down here and then boom. I don't know if that's the intended way to get it. And yet there's something else here. In this room. And it's like down here somewhere, I think. Oh, but you need the screw attack. That's another ability you need. So we'll just have to get out of here. By just speed boosting from here. And then BAM! We've got those items early. We don't need to come back for them at all. Uh, of course you still need the various suit. Which, um, which obviously looks different in this game. But you still need that to uh, actually go through lava areas. Hot areas easily. It's the proper way, but... But just do that and then boom. Okay. Alright, navigation room. Alright. Catch the security robot. Alright. Sector 5 and 6 are open. However, Sector 5 arc is sub zero, so. So it is cold there. So you you'll have to go to sector six from here. So Alright. Alright. Yeah. Alright, there we go. Two objection clear, there we go. Alright. Alright. And then we go up here, and then we have this wonderful cutscene to encounter. Incoming dispatch. Does Samus suspect anything? No, I don't think so. Good. Monitor her closely. Affirmative out. I wonder who that is. I wonder who's speaking. So yeah, we cannot go to Sector 5 yet. So we have to come back later for that. Alright. Alright. But we can go to Sector 6, though. Alright. Alright, there we go. Sector 6, here we go! Alright, here we go! Sector 6. And then... Navigation room. Install the map data. The various suit data is here. Alright. Alright, and they. Alright, so this time we have blue X's. So so if you touch them now, you will take damage from those ones. Because they're freezing. But once you get the various suit, then they'll they will heal they'll heal you instead. Uh, I'm gonna save again. I think I'll do this part of sector six. 
and then I'll end the video off, I think, so then I can save the rest for the next video. Alright, recharge room, and then... And right away, there's a lot of enemies. And so far, I've actually, besides a few deaths and reloads, I've actually done well on hard mode, despite how hard it is. Alright. Alright, I don't know. Right, we have to come back later for that way. Right. Oh, just two hit. Alright. Now, believe it or not, there is a secret here. Uh, this way. You go here, you find a missile tank. And we destroyed that thing, so... I don't know if there was a secret here. Yeah, there is. And it's an energy tank. We bomb up here. And then we just go through here. And then we filled all of our energy. Because I need max energy anyway. There we go. After taking damage from a few enemies. But there we go. Especially for this next room. There's a lot of these enemies. But you can, you can shoot them to freeze them. You can freeze them by shooting them. That's a good thing, luckily. So that's what you want to try and do. You want to try and avoid them. Uh, this way... Right, this way, I don't recommend that way yet. You could risk it, but still. Oh, no. Right, you definitely do not go that way yet. You have to go there later. Uh, down here is another ice thing. Uh, I don't think there was a secret there. Alright, anyways... go here. Uh, but of course there's a few other secrets here. I uh, don't think we can go through there yet, though. That was close of touching that. Right, I'm definitely... I definitely should not. Oh, but... Ah, there we go. Because they were following me. Oh, I took damage. Yeah, that's what it's like. If you don't try... Try not to touch them. And you need speed booster through here. Oh, wait, this room. Uh, I think it's just a save room this way. Despite a lot of enemies, there is a save room beyond this door. And, and you would desperately want it for hard mode. Just like that. And then... Alright. And then we can get more energy here. There we go. Alright, there we go. Then, there's energy tank here, again. And then there's, like, you bomb the floor here, and then you go down here. Alright, like there, there. Then this room, which you bomb this. There's also a lot of power bombs there. But, the SAX. Alright. Yeah. Uh, these things also require the power bomb. Right, and just right here, he will use power bomb, and you want to escape from it because you will take damage from it, <sighs> like there. Don't take a lot though. And do not make him see you. Just click there if you want to. And he just and he and there was no door there, but he shot it. That's weird. Then the enemies here. These enemies drop down if you shoot them once. If they're on the ceiling. Or on the wall. So be careful of those enemies. Uh, there's another save room here. Alright. Def desperately recommend it. Alright. There we go. Alright. There is definitely few ice things here, so you want to be careful! Whoa! Okay! Right. Desperately want to be careful! Oh, God. No! Oh. We saved luckily. Just before this. That was lucky. Alright. That was lucky, though. We're lucky, because we 
we just saved previously. And then there's that thing there, which can't damage us, but until you shoot it, it will automatically go to you for some reason. I can't even tell if I took damage or not. I think I did. And there's a boss door here, so we're encountering another boss fight. But then there's a data room behind it, because... This! Get it, get it, get it, get it! Nah, it's gone. That's why the next room is where the boss is. And then, we meet the Mega Core. I think, I think it's called the Mega Core. And you can only damage it with the charge shot. And you damage the massive thing. This fight can be quite tricky on hard mode because it's massive and you want to try and avoid it as possible. Oh, there we go. Got it there. Oh, now we can damage it. There we go. Just like that. There we go. Oh, whoa! That was so close. I think a few more hits. Yeah, I think one more. Just do it. Oh, oh, thank God. Oh, my God. Come on. Right, there we go. Various suit effects recovered. Survive extreme temperatures. That means... It just changes the colour. But, we do look cooler. So... And these ice things we can touch now. So, that's cool. Alright. Right, save room right here. We're going to save. Because I don't want to do that boss again. And I'd say I go before, uh, before the navigation room will end the video off. So we'll do more of this first. So that's going to be out of the way then. Uh, is there anything... Oh, that's the way to progress. Okay. So, we can make... So, this part... This Sector 6 is now a bit easy now. Uh, now, there's not only this missile, but there's another one. You go here. Well, I don't know if it's another missile, but... There is something else. Yeah, it's another missile. So, there you go. And go down here, and we have this thing. I don't know what these things are. All right. Oh god, damn it! There we go. And we'll heal ourselves while we get up here. You can also stun them to heal yourself better as well. This time they'll run away from you. Uh. Oh god, damn it! There we go. There we go. Whoa. Right, there we go. Right, uh, that's the area we tried to escape, but we couldn't, so now we can. Uh, we can go up here and get it back up here easily. And uh, I don't know if there was a secret here or not. I don't know if there was. No, I don't seem like it. So there isn't. Get out of my way! Right. Uh, I think... Is that a speed boost thing? Right here. Yeah, it is. We can try that. So we can go through here now. Oh, but we need another ability later, though. So, I don't think we can do this yet. Uh, what's on the other side, though? Power bombs. So we can't do this yet. We could try, though. Nah, but it's not enough speed, so... We can go this way, though, and do something. Because we got the various suit. Now, you could do this without the various suit, but it would be harder, so... I think there's a missile here. Nope! Destroy that. Because the missile is beyond here. You can tell because there's no circle here. But this way there is. There you go. Uh, there is. I think there's another one with an energy tank instead as well. So you want to 
be aware of that as well. I think it's only two of these in the game, though, so... Of these imposters, so... Alright, so we're just gonna... Alright, here we go. Right there, there we go. There we go. Go for a hit. Whoa, I took damage. And get out of my way. Then, for here. Oh, God damn it. Whoa! Okay. Alright. Alright. Alright, come on. Right here, there we go. Uh, that was again. Yeah, we needed another weapon there. Okay. Let's go here. Recharge room, and then. Alright. Okay, I think we'll end the video off here, guys. So, next time on Metroid Fusion, we'll tackle on the rest of the game. Uh, hopefully, it's Sector 5 next, I believe. So, I shall see you guys next time. Video Game Jam Poop Out. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!